$75,000 worth of equipment stolen from that band, and now they just want it back. Yeah, the band is known as the Black Lilies. They tour all over the country, even performing at the Grand Ole Opry. They are really making a name for themselves, but this, of course, is a big setback. Channel 2's Jake Reiner spoke with those disheartened band members. Jake, this sure is not the welcome mat we want to spread out for folks here in Houston. Bill, it was right here where the, bland, the band The Black Lilies said they left their van and what they're calling their livelihood. And this morning when they woke up, it all had vanished. We had a pretty exceptional show last night. If you could see tomorrow. With a Texas tour in the bag, the Black Lilies of Knoxville, Tennessee should be looking forward to their next gig. But instead, they're wondering how they'll play without any instruments. It's about to get really complicated. What's not so complicated is how easy these thieves were able to make a van and trailer disappear. Take a look. In the early morning hours, we see a dark SUV pull up beside the van. Can't see anyone get out, but within seconds... They get in, they turn the lights on, it takes them a minute to get it started. They get it started and they back out. The whole thing lasted a whopping two minutes, which has turned into hours of heartache for the band. I think we added everything up at about $75,000. This yeah. is our life and it's our livelihood in that vehicle, so if we could get any of it back, it would mean a lot to us. Vintage guitars, merchandise, CDs, you name it. Not to mention a meaningful mandolin for band leader Cruz Contreras. I've got a mandolin that I've played my whole life, and um, I've always agreed that one day that'll be my son's mandolin. You know, I actually asked the band if they would ever write a song about this exact situation, and they said that that was the first thing that came to mind after the uh, anger had settled down. Again, if you see a white E350 Ford pickup, or excuse me, Ford van, or a 2016 Lark trailer, again with Tennessee plates, call HPD. For now, we're live in Houston. Jake Reiner, KPRC, Channel 2.